Well, gee, I wonder why the park is closed. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Orange, California. And today, for once, Southern California is having a little bit of weather. We have high wind warnings and there's actual rain. I'm talking like Florida style rain, real rain, or like really crazy. And then right afterwards, this weird peaceful calm sort of set in. It's hard to tell, but this whole area that's usually a parking area for this park is pretty flooded. It was way more flooded earlier, but it was too rainy to come out and show you. Definitely unusual for Southern California. Today, of course, as I film this, is inauguration day. So I feel like most people are probably inside today, glued to the TV. Other than a few looky-loos coming down here to check out the usual park flooding whenever it really rains out here. There's not a lot going on. Look at this. You can almost see the sun there for a second. Almost. Now in a few minutes, even more rain is supposed to come pouring down. We got high wind advisories coming for a little bit later. Which that's a pretty normal SoCal weather event, but with all the rain, you know, the trees get soaked and tree branches come down and stuff. So I'm going to go pick up my kid from his school right now, hopefully while the weather's still good, and then we're gonna hunker down at home, have a nice time, spend a little family time around the old TV. Maybe come back and take some fun pics like they're doing over here by the water. Like, whoop. And then probably go home and sleep well. Kind of a bummer because my plans today were called due to inclement weather. Ah, but never fear. Yesterday while I was in LA, I filmed more than could actually fit in yesterday's video. So I actually have a little bonus footage for you guys entitled The Mystery of Life. I hope you enjoy. See you in a little bit. Wow, listen to that. It's as silent as the grave. The clouds have parted. The rain has finally gone away. And we're back in Forest Lawn Cemetery. And whenever I'm in the area, I have to stop by the Court of Freedom to pay my respects to Walt Disney. My eyes always get sweaty with respect up here. The last resting place of one of my heroes. So before I do anything else up here, a moment of silence. Okay. Of course, there's much more stuff up here than just graves. This place is kind of weird. It's almost like a museum. Like this plaque says, this right here is the Liberty Chain. This is an actual part of the chain stretched across the Hudson River. To prevent the British from cutting American forces in two in 1776. And supposedly, this is the best statuary likeness of George Washington in existence. History. Right here. In the cemetery. Dude, this is a huge chain. Almost as big as my chain wallet in the 90s. That is so crazy, man. This chain was stretched across the Hudson in 1770 freaking six. I mean, that's well over 200 years ago now. That is pretty amazing. And there's some more amazing stuff right up here. Now, we've had some Leonardo da Vinci on this channel. Matter of fact, we visited the Mona Lisa more than once on this channel. But up until this moment, we've never had any Michelangelo. Now, believe me, as soon as possible, we're gonna have the Sistine Chapel right here. This is a classy show. But until then, we'll have to make do with this. Feast your eyes on Michelangelo's David. Oh. From everything I've read, this is a perfect copy of the statue of David. Done, of course, by that famous artist, Michelangelo. Not the Ninja Turtle, you know, the painter. It is, of course, David from the story of David and Goliath, you know. The Old Testament King David, when he was young. Michelangelo sculpted David out of a single piece of marble, I believe. In the 1500s. No 3D printers. No computer software to help. Just some chisels, some hammers, and some imagination. And here at Forest Lawn, a massive David replica. Everyone, of course, is familiar with the image of the statue of David, but I had no idea that it was that big. I mean, look at the size of those paws right there. These are some awfully big shoes to fill. Seriously. Would you look at the size of this guy? He's huge! Now, I didn't intend to learn a lot about Michelangelo's David today. Or as other people call him, Michelangelo, you know, to be a little more, a little more hoity-toity. According to this over here, Michelangelo carved David when he was 26 years old. It says he carved it out of a block that 100 years earlier had been thrown away because people said it was too skinny, too narrow to cut a figure out of. So everybody thought he was crazy when he picked this piece of marble. 16 feet, 9 inches and 10 
tons. That's pretty wild. Now I'm assuming the original David is somewhere in Italy because this David is much too clean looking to be 500 years old. And I am no art critic, but this is a fine piece of sculpture. Lots of details there. And he definitely doesn't look too skinny. He doesn't look too narrow in the shoulders there. So obviously the piece of marble worked out. But what I've always wondered about David, you know, the legendary shepherd boy turned king of Israel, is why is Michelangelo's version nude. I mean seriously, just let's think about this for a second. David's got a rock in his hand, he's got his sling over his back, he's getting ready to fling a stone at the head of the giant Goliath. Everybody else came to the battle wearing armor, wearing swords and helmets, even Goliath has a skirt on. Hey, that's a kilt. So why in the world did David show up naked? Maybe he was taking a bath when he heard Goliath was in town. The more we talk about how nude David is, the more worried his face looks. Actually, you know what, this is a family show, we gotta blur this out. There we go, that's better. But wait a minute, art should never be censored. Especially not comedy. We should never censor art or comedy, right guys? Right. So David, you just hang loose up there, buddy. You go, you go into battle dress however you want. This is probably why David's son Solomon was known as the wise one. Because Solomon always turned up with pants. I don't think David likes that joke. He looks really angry. Dude, this whole place is full of a lot of different sculptures and artifacts and art. Look at this, the courtyard of the mystery of life. I'm not sure if there's any other famous burials near here. That's really not what I'm here for. But this would definitely be a cool place to be laid to rest. And here it is, the sculpture, the mystery of life. Look at this. This is pretty cool. They commissioned this sculpture, I think, just for Forest Lawn. And all the various signs around it ask the viewer to interpret it. Back there we have the lovers. Here's a boy who's supposed to be holding an egg with a bird coming out, but someone put a flower there. Here we have the atheist who doesn't care about nothing, and the stoic who's contemplating everything. It's pretty cool. There's a whole guide here. Here we have the scientist and the sweet young girl graduate. The philosopher up there scratching his head in vain at the mystery of life. And it asks down here, gentle reader, what is your interpretation? Do you see yourself in one of the characters? here portrayed. It says Forest Lawn has found the answer to the mystery of life. Have you found it or are you still in anxious doubt? Now I've looked at this for a long long time and I'm trying to take it seriously. I'm trying not to make any jokes about how this guy over here looks like Emperor Palpatine. Oh I'm afraid the shield will be quite operational when your mystery arrives. Darn, I really tried. And I think I have my answer to the mystery of life. But not because I looked at it for a long time. No, because I read this. The builder quotes from the words of Herbert's immortal song, Ah, sweet mystery of life. Ah, sweet mystery of life. At last I found thee. At last I know the secret of it all. Tis love and love alone that the world is seeking. For it's love and love alone that can repay. Tis the answer. Tis the end in all of living. For it is love alone that rules for I. Hmm. I like it. Especially when you're surrounded by all this memory of death. It's nice to think that all of this, all this life here, wasn't in vain. Because they all loved someone. Or were loved by someone. Or made the world a better place to love in. It's nice to think that no matter which character we are, no matter which walk of life we come from, we're all part of something a little bigger than ourselves. Something a little more permanent than flesh and blood. And love, love is immortal. That's a beautiful thing. This statue's kind of making me, I'm not even kidding. Making me a little emotional. All right, since I don't have a special golden key to get into these secret private gardens. Maybe for now, it's best if we move along. But guys, don't tell anyone the secret to the mystery of life. Shh. And that's pretty much that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope everybody is safe and warm and dry out there. I know weather's getting pretty nasty in a lot of parts of the country. I'm not political. I don't feel like it's my place to express a political opinion. I don't care what age or gender or sexual orientation or race or religion or musical or subcultural preference or political stripe that anyone comes from really. It really doesn't matter to me. It doesn't stop me from being friends with anyone. It doesn't stop me hopefully from loving anyone. So I'll just use this opportunity to say that I love this country, love everybody out there. Love to all my friends of all different walks of life, all different political opinions. I know a lot of you are way smarter than me, know way more than I do about such matters, so I just leave matters alone, personally. Can't wait for this new year to really get started and kick off into high gear. The summer's gonna be awesome. Hopefully the weather gets better down here and pretty soon we'll have an opportunity to go see Main Street Electrical Parade because it just came back to Disneyland. So a lot of stuff coming up. I love you all. Live fast, I poured out spreadshirt.com, all that stuff down below. And I'll see you guys a little later. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hey, I'm not mad.